We have more breaking news tonight. A Rhode Island lawmaker arrested on DUI charges heads to traffic court. Police say State Senator Dominic Ruggiero failed several field sobriety tests after he was pulled over in Barrington last week. Now we've learned the drunk driving charge against him will be dropped. Ivy to Sue's reporter Sean Daly has the breaking details live from the State House with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Less than a week after he was arrested and charged with driving drunk, the number two man in the state Senate managed to maneuver his way out of this legal jam without a criminal record. Were you under the influence when you were driving the other night, Senator? Senate Majority Leader Dominic Ruggiero said nothing on his way into the Rhode Island Traffic Tribunal this afternoon. Inside, one of the state's most powerful politicians admitted his responsibility for refusing a chemical breath test when he was pulled over and charged with drunken driving just after midnight last Wednesday in Barrington. His driver's license will now be suspended for six months and he'll serve 10 hours of community service. In exchange for today's admission, prosecutors agreed to drop the charge of driving under the influence. That's expected to happen tomorrow at District Court in Providence. Eyewitness News legal analyst Lou Polner is directly involved in this case because he's also Barrington's town solicitor. He tells us the resolution of both the civil breath test refusal charge and the criminal DUI charge in this way is routine. Can you see how this looks as though this might be a deal because he's connected at the State House? Anybody who understands the process would know it's not a deal. Senator, can you tell us why did you stop in the middle of the road? Lou Polner says Senator Ruggiero would have faced only a three-month license suspension if he had pled guilty to the DUI charge instead of admitting to the breath test refusal charge. As far as we're concerned, if somebody has a problem, you know, drinking and getting behind the wheel, we'd rather have them off the road for six months instead of three. And from Senator Ruggiero's perspective, by admitting to the breath test refusal charge, the DUI charge gets dropped, leaving the senator right back where he was before all this began, without a criminal record. Live at the Statehouse with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, Sean Daly, Eyewitness News.